Hello everyone, this is Black Pier. Today I will be discussing Clash Wars 2 The Guild Base. Made that sound like it was a game title. But actually, I'm going to be covering Guild Base for all guilds in Clash of Lords 2. What it does, what it is, what you can do in it, how you can contribute to it, what roles you have to have to be able to contribute certain things to it. And what you can get out of it. So I'm going to begin off by saying I'm in Guild Ring of Legends. Big shout out to them. Number 4 on the server right now. Android English 2. The server, so definitely come join us. Um, and I start off by showing meditation. It's easy. You can open up 4 more slots of jewels. I've got all 6 slots. And you enter your heroes and you get a reward. We have XP egg, 12 tokens, Gleaf Fragment and Ancient Gleaf Shot. Sorry, not Gleaf, Ancient Spirit Shards. Your lucky chance can be increased. And it can be increased by... This is one which I'm going to be struggling on time. The lucky chance increased by leveling up your guild retreatment. So upgrading, I'd imagine that would do it. Yes, it does. The lucky chance will be increased by 10% as well. You have to upgrade the guild retreat to be able to get a higher lucky chance. Please, man. And more meditation slots. So you will need that amount of that. You will need that one. The guild HQ can be upgraded as well. This will allow you to be able to level up other buildings to a higher level than they actually are. And the other builds have to be to a certain requirement of it. And now, just go back to the guild HQ. Headquarters of the guild base upgrade to unlock more buildings. So you can unlock more buildings by leveling up your guild headquarters. You can deploy your heroes in here. And of course, you can see I haven't I did any, I really have not. No one has what it looks at, it's kind of strange really. Deploy heroes that meet the requirements to upgrade buildings. Heroes deployed cannot participate in other guild related events. Players can only deploy heroes to one building at a time. Um, what you get out of it I really don't want to explain because I'm pretty sure you don't really get anything out of it. Guild contribution, daily sign in, you get plus 5 guild tokens and plus 500 of gold. You will increase that one really well. You can contribute rings, souls, and orange parts. Also, sometimes it goes to shards, ancient glyph shard, so not glyph shards, ancient spirit shards, um, mutagen, so you can contribute by any ways and means and you can obtain guild gold and guild tokens which can be spent and you really can't just spend in the guild mall and the guild mall has all of these kind of stuff what is the thing there I really do not know it. what it is I don't we really can't just spend the guild tokens you get stuff like this, one guild crystal and 1,700 rings, so it's a very nice ring. Check out my Opsta Gaming social media groups. I am on Discord, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, Line, Regamers, Pinterest. And I also have my own Opsta Gaming wiki. On screen are all of my social media groups, pages and my wiki. Please make sure to go follow or join the groups. If you like the groups, please comment on them and of course in the video description so that others can go and check them out as well. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Agent Spirit Shards, the Crystal Agencies, Secret Permits. Use to explore the Guild Cave for 50 to 100 reinforced cores. Reinforced cores, so that's quite really good. And you can upgrade this by. Upgrading your guild mall, you can actually level it up by man. So, I mean, really, you can see guild buildings which we've already built, but we need to upgrade to be able to build more. Mm. By upgrading 
we will unlock more rewards and better rewards I think really. Um, so all these that rubble, rubble around your guild base, you can press rubble finder to find a piece of rubble which you already have the resources, heroes to be able to use to get rid of it as you can see I've run now. Because five heroes are at least level 15 mercenaries and are flying. I don't have the heroes for it. But other people may do and by doing that, guild rewards 1,600 gold, 16 guild tokens. Hmm. Randomly relocate it with a 10,000 gold, which I would not recommend doing, it's not really worth it now. As you see the guild workshop, the guild workshop grants access to guild weaponry such as the guild bar and guild chariot which is used in guild clash every week. You can boost the guild workshop with the resources here as you can see, is there a free like, is there a re enter that one, can you be in that, 10 focus points and obtain 20 silver points. Mm. So really man it is actually just another way to be able to obtain points, gold and V silver guild tokens. So you can you can contribute equipment shards, equipment materials, speed scrolls, souls, mutagens that imagine it changes every day and river rings and stuff. Um I wouldn't recommend donating these here. As you might need them for your buildings at ten mats, ten days of ten days of um uh, I would say, for example, these man, please. Really can't just, just be contributing some of them. Oh, I've actually just got a bunch there. Yeah. I'm saying it's increased increase there. Yeah. 250 I would not recommend giving them away either. Results, if you can afford to, to raise them, man, I would recommend it. But really, it's very good because that can be used to buy stuff from the guild mall. Such as the rings, which I've only really already shown you. I would press confirm, but I, you also need guild tokens to be able to do meditation, which gets you all this. So I saved mine for that, which is actually really useful. You can deploy heroes in it, as we all know. Range completed, participating lords get 280 silver per hero then, which is very good. The guild chariot, you can upgrade it with your gold and jewels. So, you can please that, so they actually just upgrade them with all that. And they gradually upgrade this. I'm not sure if someone in the guild, such as a leader, can actually upgrade that. Or if it just, just upgrades as we level up the guild chariot. But the most important one is the guild bot, which is on defense. Which has got skills, so tap the picture to learn the skill. So you need metal screws to be able to upgrade it. This one, the actual skill for guild bot, is all down to you. So you actually have to upgrade this yourself to have your own customised level on it. Um, Launch is a fireball dealing 11,046 plus 256% attack damage and inflicting bleeding for 8 seconds. Bleeding deals 1,576 damage, damage every 0.5 seconds, prioritises heroes. And damage is then so uh, it's very good. You can also use other skills which I'll get into. Um, you see, aid skill reserves a blessing, I will spell them myself. Well, the talents, the talent image I really would actually recommend upgrade these. I'm going to upgrade that one, use a please man. As you can see, mine are quite high level compared to what the average players were. Say the average players, just not everyone. Um, my contribution points in Vermont is I am number 10 on the monologues, which is very high, 58,744 contributed. I think that we all know how I got so high up there. There is that um, video which I think I may have got a lot of hate for. Uh, well, I can't really blame everyone for giving me a bunch of hate for that one, but at the same time, it might not have been my fault. It was the secret vault video where I said you get 6,000 jewels for 30,000. If you spend 30,000 on guild, but you'll be able to get double the points in the ring tree, 
specifically Secret Vault. Um, it's a glitch which is in the game for every year. Um, I made a video on it so everyone could learn from it. And the next day it was removed from Class Wars 2. The glitch was. Now, let's just say if it wasn't because of my video and they were just working on removing that glitch at the very time, I have some incredibly unlucky time for me, I tell you. If it was because of the video, well, um, if, yeah, let's just forget about that, you know, really, guys. <laughs> um, no fairness. It's my job to bring out videos on what's working in the game, and it's so that you guys can learn from it. So, if you look at it in that way, really, I was trying to help everyone by showing you guys all what you can do, and then I just you went. No way, no way is anyone else doing that, removing the glitch, and I went, damn. And then people went, no, upster. And I went, oh no. <laughs> so yeah, kind of all around that kind of circle there. So yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting time, it really was. Mm. Now you can see tap the icon to choose equipment so you can actually add equipment. Do you want to spend 2000 mech ranges to unlock an equipment slot? Guildbot can use equipment not empowered after using so I have to unlock the slot. slot to get mech wrenches. Mech wrenches are an important resource to use to make your guild bot bigger and badder with equipment and parts. Obtained by completing development projects in the guild workshop. Really so now you can just leave you on here. Do you believe that you're not? And you need mechanisms of course to get that again. Really doing that. As so you can see that I really can't change this the upgrade needs on the locking up. He's all parts of which you can get here. Yeah, that's just the uh, that's just the glitch and the glitch is gonna be in the video that I make on it. So yeah, that's the glitch and the glitch is gonna be in the video that I make on it. But really, um, there's a mixture of choices in which you really can't show. Mm -hmm. There's a so, um, this one I really actually need to choose one of the can. Because I can't just choose one of these, so, Peace Skill Bot, Stone Dread, Skill, and Freezing Burning. I'm gonna pick the one here. So, now we really actually will be choosing that one now. I'm not able to equip any more parts because I've already equipped with that one, so that one's well. Right, as you can see, you can pick your parts in there. To, to get the max screws, I'm going to show you how. So, you go to the guild workshop. Here we go then. And the mech development. And it actually just will be in here, so there's another few hours of mercenary shooters in here. So to develop and progress, you get tons of that, and you get the, the mech screws and stuff in here. And you can also unlock more slots, more slots by spending jewels. You can actually develop an FFC to be a double and then triple the amount of rewards which you get by spending jewels. Um, personally, I think I would just go for the, the free option, really, as you would do, because that way you can just it for free daily every day you do it stop it finishes every 12 hours you can gradually build it in mech screws and stuff to be able to unlock more parts and everything like that so it's very useful as you see development level 23 out of 30 for our guild on the guild but it's actually very useful in the guild warehouse so the back here Tap in the images to see the item description on the right. Guild item stack size 1000. So all of the resources which you have in your guild base, which are used to upgrade buildings and unlock buildings, I think. Now the guild carry sir. Nothing important. It's literally just only where you go to challenge really. Now the next one, the guild K. This is actually my first time really looking at this properly, so I can't really teach you much about it. 
Well, it says tip, so I'll read off the tips to you. The guild cave automatically produces and stores reinforced cores. So it automatically does it itself, you don't actually have to do anything with it. Upgrade the guild, that would explain why I haven't had a chance to look at it. <laughs> Upgrade the guild cave to increase the production and storage capacity. Use delve gear to, obta to obtain a random number reinforced cores. The type of delve gear used affects the number of cores obtained. Delve gear cannot be used if there are too few cores in the guild cave storage. So basically, it also does it, and you need to upgrade it as a guild to unlock more. Um, if you saw the Facebook notification, where is second ago? I'll actually have a random account which I made for gaming. Um, a long time ago for Clash Royale actually just attached to it so um, on these Clash Royale groups I just get all these random people trying to follow me and now it comes through with like these random names and I'm going I don't have a clue who you are <laughs> I've actually blocked my messenger on it because it just gets all such weird messages man so um, the Mason Master statue Rome wasn't built in a day, as we all know, and neither was your guild base. This statue is proof of your guild's best efforts. And the rank in here, and I'm on rank. Wow, that really is not very good, is it? And so the players really actually Passio, Comix, Via, Dark Light, Rudu, Connor, Navin Crush, and Osmena. So well done to them for helping contribute to the, to the guild. If you're right, um, I do do my part. I haven't really been logging on that much recently. As you can see, I do my part by um, the amount of um, contributions to Gilbert. <laughs> so, I think that, except for the, the Guild Bank, stores Guild coins, which of course are very rare. So, that really is that shit for now, then, I think. Of course, you still get your Guild news activity, so. Need to spend his amount of guild, excuse me, upgraded from level 7. Of uh, what people have done, yourself, what you've done. And the edit base feature. <laughs> to be able to edit the base, move stuff around really. You just actually have to be um, the leader, that's for sure. You have to be the leader. But you may be able to do it as a senior, I'm not sure. As a, as a senior, might be different. And of course, the problem. So, I think that's it for this video, and guys. Hope this was useful to you guys in a way. Hopefully you might have learned something from it. Or it might have just like given you a little refresh in your memory of what to do in it. Um, I haven't gone into the massive, massive, massive detail of like, skills and stuff on it. But I want this video really just be an overview of Guild Base. Like taking you through a tutorial on everything in Guild Base. Explaining little parts of each one. What it does how to use it and stuff like that so um, I think really have done the job really of that so um, if you want to know more about the little features I recommend really just looking into it if I'm honest with you look into it start reading all the skills start reading all the stuff and I think you'll start to get a hang of it by just, just reading it really but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on guild base make sure to like Subscribe and definitely hit that bell icon for more Clash Wars 2 content. For now, peace out.